Before jump into fixing with free transform tool, let's set a few options to make sure we all are on the same page. In Windows, go to the Edit, Preferences, and General, or press Ctrl K. On Mac, go to the Photoshop menu and choose Preferences or Command K on Mac. First of all, I prefer to use legacy mode for free transform tool. So enable use legacy free transform. Press OK. Make sure you're showing the rulers. You can press Ctrl R or Command R on Mac or go to view and select rulers. For any reason, if you want to fix the image camera vertically or horizontally straight manually, follow these steps in this course. Again, make sure you have the backup of your original file layer and make sure already converted to smart layer. I will do it again in this video. So drag it on the create new layer, double click and change the name exterior shot 01 right click and select convert to smart object if also you want to show this layer thumbnail is bigger click on the right side of the layer panel fly at menu select panel options and choose the bigger one okay now we can see layer thumbnail is much bigger all right I hide the background layer, make sure your exterior shot 01 layer is selected, go to edit menu and select free transform or press ctrl T or command T on Mac. If you go to edit menu again, from transform menu, you can see scale, rotate, skew, distort and perspective or if you right click on your image on the document, you can also see these items, but you don't need to pick them from the menus. If you select one of the corners of this image and resize it, you will notice that image aspect ratio will not preserve. To preserve image aspect ratio now, you should hold on the shift key on the keyboard and resize it. If you hold on the control key or command key on Mac, and move your corner point, you will see your image will distort. If add the shift key to this combination, will move only horizontally or vertically in a straight line. Another shortcut, if you hold on the shift key and add alt key or option key on Mac, your image will resize from the anchor point. I press cancel button to revert these changes. Make sure again your rulers are enabled. If you not see the rulers, press Ctrl R or Command R. Let's analyze this image again to get ideal vertical lines to align the camera. I will drag from the left vertical ruler a guideline to this column here. If I zoom that, you will see it's not perfectly straight. As I mentioned also in the previous chapter, we used guidelines from this right window on the building. So I will create another guideline close to this window. Also notice that this tree in the right side of the image is very straight and this tree also have reflection on the water so this is very ideal for our camera angle guess i will move it here you will see that horizon line will help us to make camera angle straight i press ctrl t or command t again zoom out a bit hold on ctrl and shift key and drag top right corner to the right side Note that if now I move my guideline to this window, it is perfect. But because I will change the left side also to achieve a straight line, 
it will affect on the right side of image again allow me to do that control shift and drag okay zooming in and you will see is almost straight but the right side still has issues again so you could use also combination of control alt and shift all together and change the two top corners of the image control alt shift and drag with this technique you could change both sides of the image at the same time the result is acceptable except your image height also affected and this is not good for us so move your mouse pointer to the top middle border of image and move it up okay i think it is acceptable actually in horizontally mode is straight so no need to change that's so easy press ok note that there is a new feature on photoshop 2021 if you right click on the smart layer you can use reset transform to undo your transformation back or revert your changes okay i undo that again in the next video I will talk about working on flattened burned surfaces to fix these issues.